Just anything you can. Yeah. Uh, a jar and a shadow, and he'll become that on video. Yeah. And he's it. Uh, every picture I've taken of myself there, with my back to the living room, yeah. there'll be something coming up out of the floor behind me. But it has an explanation of it. it could be this, that, that. But what, if you look closely, and it's and it's always this thing with the same face. It always has the same face. Circles for eyes, holes. And a like a melty body, and I don't I don't know what it is, man, but something is uh, there. It's in the other house. Yeah, which he didn't really want us yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Once once we we'll work towards that here in a minute, yeah. here in an hour, whatever. Yeah. Uh, All right, we have to have some more refreshments too. We got pina coladas over there if you're interested. Go so digging through his stuff. But I'll just shine a lot down in there. We'll, we'll get the camera down. See if the camera can see anything. Hey, hey, the camera might see some shit it don't need to. <laughs> so, 100 years old, that was that was when. Uh, that's back when 1980, they got plaques on it. This house for sure, they got plaques on 100 year plaques. That was when um, uh, there used to be a big uh, resort in Delwood yeah, Park, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Somebody burned it down. Yeah, they said it's not happening. It used to be, I don't know. It used to be like a mineral, mineral huh. spring. It's, yeah, it's a red mineral spring. Red spring, the name after that, yeah. Yeah, I knew the Pleasant Mouth thing. You mentioned you're the only only person I've ever heard mention Pleasant Mouth. Yeah. Hey, puppy dog, what you doing? 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 Here, here. Let me put this stuff down. It's probably making y'all comfortable. There you go. It's oh, 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 it's oh, oh, oh. I know red. I see him, I know. He's, he's okay. He's okay. Stranded. Lock the keys in the car. I'm stupid. Okay, yeah, um, part of wearing a ghillie suit is all these motherfuckers out there, uh -huh. any movement gives them away. So they use fake bird calls, they, um, they actually bring to the site that they're going to be sniping at, uh -huh. actually bring into it in a bunch of uh, some little gray squirrels. Yeah. And that way you don't have to, all the limbs moving. It'll be graceful. Every look, you see some moving. It's a fucking gray squirrel. Yeah. They, they do that on purpose. I mean, they Now, who does? Whoever wears ghillie suits. This little son of a bitch thinks he can live through Parvo. And just young. I mean, yeah, fuck it, just another day. You're a stout motherfucker. You're a stout motherfucker. You know that, Jack? Man, you didn't survive Parvo, bro. But I tell you one thing, you keep trying to lick my sweat. Hey, I'm telling you, you gonna you gonna be so fucked up you can't even see straight. I'm telling you, boy. Well, those are Spaniards. I like these Spaniards. I call them Hatred's such a strong word. Wetback's a beautiful word. Spaniards, Spaniards. 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 Spani
<laughs> they will chop your head off with a kitchen knife, though. <laughs> is this is this it? Uh, or not? Now see, I filmed right here for a moment. Yeah. And I said, uh, this is where I went into. Uh, where's the water thing? You see it somewhere right down there. I said, now this was an Indian burial mound. It's like, there's, oh there's, man. There's the, the big one, the one where, you know, my haunted house is built upon. I'm yeah. The main mound. Okay, yeah, okay, hang on. Let me fucking set this shit down. All right, so. Speak. Okay, so, Indian burial mounds. All right, I'm about to fucking get real on all y'all now, but. East Texas, in the eyes of God. all of East Texas and West Louisiana, all used to be the Caddo Empire. Okay, it's an bad. Indian city state. It was the. I just got a limb in my. Okay, it was the biggest Indian city state in Texas. The rest of the Indians were all rovers and nomads and, and marauders and shit. The Cheyenne, the Cherokee, and all that kind of stuff. But the Caddo Indians had the biggest city state. And okay. So, in the Yeah. No, yeah, I can't wait to see what you filmed. That's why, dude, that's why I brought it over here and just left it with you. I was like, you know what, I bet you Lance is just gonna get some, just gonna get some shit. What else? waiting on us, like somebody's already up there. You think somebody might be up there? Somebody's dead. My Lance Nelson has disappeared. <laughs> so, we're gonna edit what we have right now. This is Moody. And I'm stoned on volumes. <laughs> See it back there. Just behind me, there's a uh, sacred feminine in the middle of uh, an intersection. Oh. obvious that uh, there's a pretty large Masonic influence here in this town and up the, uh, up the highway of Highway 80 in Gilmer, uh, no I'm sorry, in Gladewater, there's a very uh, prominent Masonic temple. Alright, here is the Kind of makes you wonder, but is it possible that these two factions, these two groups, vie for the destruction and the possible protection of small towns such as these? It is known that the Masons influence a lot of what goes on in small towns. And if you study Satanism, that is also their stated goal. The difference being, Masons seek to build up and make a town stronger, make a community stronger, while Satanists seek to destroy it and destroy society and civilization as a whole. Now, here is the Masonic Temple. So, my professor uh, told me I needed something good to get a passing grade. Film class. Come up with an idea. To do a documentary on the local
local lore of devil worship in this area. Out here for this. Yes, you pulled me away from a date, hate, 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 and possible sex. X for this. I mean, what the hell's your deal, man? You know you don't have a date, bro. Hello. <laughs> Yo. Um, so you know how I don't want to write a paper for the class, right? Lazy. Well, I'm gonna talk. And, uh, I'm going to tell him I'm going to do a film for my final grade, and it's going to be based on cults in this area. <laughs> Again, Pin, like devil you, worship cult. and you needed me for this, why? You and me, the cameraman. Congratulations. Well, you proud of yourself now? I'm not getting on there. Are you going to get on there? Why the fuck would I do this? It's already bad enough that you, you dragged me here from a freaking date. And now you're pretty much proposing I do something like this? Who was on your date? What girl, was, what girl were you on a date with? Oh, you know, Lindsay, he, the new office girl. Nah, I don't know. Of course you wouldn't. You don't pay attention to the interns. satanic cults in this area and this is only a small part but it's a pretty damn big part it's a small part but it's a big part all right you ready children were made to drink blood and urine ingest feces and commit deviant sexual practices the behavior was indicative of ritual activities the boy disclosed special knowledge pertaining to the disappearance of an area teenager who had disappeared on January 5th, 1992. It would seem to be a generational affair. The true number of years that the cult behavior leads back to remains unknown. It is suspected and possible, uh, the, the possibility of a hundred year old cult is suspected. The grandparents had to be introduced by somebody. Okay, so, setting all these cults and stuff up, come back over here. A young boy, a young boy named Raymond, allegedly while in foster care, uh, alleged while in foster care that an area teenager had been kidnapped by a cult that his extended family belonged to. So this kid, Raymond. While he's in foster care, says, "I know the location of uh, I know the location of Amy Wilson, who disappeared like at the beginning of the year, like two years earlier or something." So the scenario is: let's see, she goes out to her car, sees that her car's slashed, goes back into the video store, 
goes back to the video store and her manager tells her, oh, well, she was supposed to drop off the money at the end of the night. Her manager tells her, uh, okay, well, I'll take you over there. A woman dropped the money off. It's seen in the camera, but you can't see her, co her face. For 10 days, Raymond alleges that for 10 days, the cult held her and ritualistically uh, raped her and tortured her and like brutalized her. At the end of the 10 days, they stabbed her to death and ritualistically ingested pieces of her body. They, they fucking ate her at the end of the 10 days. Okay, so after, after police officers was indicated a ritualistic rape and murder of a local team, the attorney general's office took over the case. And the whole thing has been brushed under the rug. And the guy that we saw on Stagecoast Road the other night, he moved when all this shit happened. And now, he lives here in this town. That's the guy that we follow that. Oh shit. Mmm, orale. Chingadera. Bonita. You asshole. You called me a nasty girl in Spanish. Chinga tu madre. No, no, I didn't tell you to say. I didn't tell you to say. What do you think about it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about puppy. Look at this beautiful day out here. Nice and quiet. It's actually sunny instead of nasty and dreary and rainy like it's been all winter. Yeah, that's the best there is. Go get me a beer. You're the best girlfriend I got. I'm the only girlfriend you got, I hope. There's there's no beers on the table. Trees. Look like they want to reach out and grab you. I don't see any clouds. Then you step out of the frame. You gotta step out of the frame, then it'll turn. Step out. Now go. Now go. Yeah, there you go. God, you're so smart! <laughs> Need a green screen. You know how late it was? I never been. I, it was not. I could have taken it away. You could have what? And then. One. Okay, wait a minute. Do you want me to. The whole time, stare straight into the camera. <laughs> Action in one. Hi, this is Shine Shoemaker with. Okay, go ahead. Good morning. This is Shine Shoemaker reporting for the Eagle. Today, I'm going to be speaking with NCCC head rodeo coach Skylar Hennicutt, a few of his rodeo team members, and with students and teachers from local elementary schools about the fifth rodeo that will be taking place here this morning. Here with me is NCCC head rodeo coach Skylar Hennicutt. Coach Hennicutt, could you please tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Coach Hennicutt. All right, cut. We got to start over because I started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's on red. All right, so we're going to do a track and shot. Uh, this is another town. Not 
um, the town I was in with the with the pins angle in the uh, the pentagram in the in the intersection of the street. This is a different little town about an hour away. In this area, uh, there was a cult in the early 90s, and a lot of people said that uh, it started like people going to parties and. Uh, get a little bit wild and people would start sacrificing animals. There was apparently a call down here that uh, kidnapped a young girl and uh, brutalized her for 10 days and then they stabbed her to death and ate her body. Whoa, 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 man here. Here, this is pretty heavy stuff being mentioned out here in public, man. Yeah. What are you saying? Don't wanna, you don't want to work on this project either? Honestly, hey, yeah, I'm just, I'm not feeling comfortable doing this shit anymore, man. Yeah. Bam, there's Crow, right here. And he's quitting. And there's our crew back there. You guys want to quit too? You guys want to quit the project too? See, they're gonna have total, total plausible de deniability. Is that right? Plausible deniability? Yeah, plausible deniability. Look at them. They want to quit too. Okay, well, give me my camera back. Got my ass. Hey. Dude, come on. No, dude. I need you to help me do this. <laughs> you're the only person that that fucking zooms right, man. What was the difference? I need you to to help me. That desperate little kiss ass. Yeah, you're right. Nobody else wants to fucking help me. Yeah, you're right. I don't have any fucking friends. <laughs> Cause you're a jackass. Yeah, so you're the only one. You're the only one that's. You're the only one that's got balls enough to help. Okay, well. Ass clown. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tip shit. Say something real quick. Just speak at a normal speaking level. Just say fuck you. What do you want me to say? Just I, I'm just testing the volume on the. Well, I mean, what do you want me to say? I'll say. You just talk like a normal Yeah. Okay. Say fuck you, Jared. Fuck you, Jared. Um, back in the 80s, early 80s, maybe late 70s. That's stupid. Real prevalent around here, yeah. Yeah. He heard about it all the time. Yeah. There's a lot of like, cattle mutilations and dogs coming up, this is the tour, you find them laying out there with the tongues cut out, and they all said that was all the devil worship did all that kind of stuff. We heard about all that kind of stuff in the late seventies, early eighties. Uh they do that kind of stuff at uh, Black Mountain, or was it just a... That's what... We would find my great-grandfather's baby calves. They'd come up missing. We'd go hunting around. We'd find them laying out in the pasture with their tongues cut out. Yeah. Or their, their balls cut off. Their throats slid. Yeah. My, everybody out there said that that was devil work for the people. Yeah. In Black Mountain, they said, was the devil work that's where it happened there. And it's 10 miles on the other side of Kilgore? Well, it ain't probably not. It's probably 25, 5 or 10 miles, probably. It's probably, yeah, it's probably about 5 miles, probably. Oh. Uh, they always say that you don't go over there, don't go over there, when the lights are on, you see the fire, don't go over there because it's not a good place to go to. Uh, you can hear it if you got real quiet on my grandpa's front porch. You can hear it. What I'm wondering is whose land it was. It was a man and a woman. 
brother and a sister named Tom and Mary Alice Black. And that's why I was called Black Man. Were they alive back then? Yep. Did they let the people... I, See, I, that's... I don't know if they actually knew what they were doing. Or if they just told them, yeah, y'all have a party out here, and they never went out there to see what was going on. Yeah, you could always put the theory forward that they maybe knew who the hell was out there and what the hell they were doing. Well, yeah, they may have known. I don't you know. know. But that, yeah. At the time all this was happening, they were in their 60s. Yeah. You know, 60, probably 60 to 65 years old. They, I mean, they may have known. I, I know some of their nieces and nephews were out there, I think. They would go out there? They would go out there. I, really? I can't remember the girl. Her name is Rachel. Yeah. I remember Rachel as someone I remember. Uh. As a matter of fact, she got killed in a car wreck. Did Leave she? it there one night. Really? Yeah. She just curved and rode in the And, uh, so people would go, pretty much go out there and party and everything, but it was rumored that it was a devil worship place, too. Yes. It yeah. was rumored that there was cow schools and dog schools and stuff hanging from the trees and, you know, don't go near this sign, you know, signs are where don't, you know, don't trespass and all this stuff. I never actually saw the stuff, but that's the rumor we all heard, but, you know, in the late 70s, I wasn't 12, 13 years old. Yeah. Uh, well, the Cosmic Shed was where the chickens were hanging. Cosmic Shed had chickens, supposedly chickens hanging in front of the trees and like the, like the head of a dog with its spine still on it. Really? Like from the Predator movie. Yeah. Supposedly those were hanging in trees and they were like cats, dogs, and stuff hanging all up in the trees outside of that. Stuff like that. Still following this cop around. I had to duck, I had to duck off of a uh, side road because I wasn't sure what the hell was going on because he just stopped real quick. But look, 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 look. This house, I know this house, but it's been abandoned for years. This guy's car is parked right there.
What are you watching? I don't know what you're even going to sleep. I don't know, uh... What the hell is this? I don't know, you're the one that's fucking watching it. I wasn't watching anything, I was passed out. I've been awake for like two days. I can't... I haven't slept in... about 48 hours. I uh, think I think I'm being followed. I think that I've exposed the Luciferians. This is the journalism room, and this is the journalism guy that I'm gonna get for my movie. I talked to him on the phone the other day. My girlfriend laughed at me for about 30 minutes. I need you to have you in frame. I need you to help me with your movie, with my movie, not your movie, my movie. What movie? I need you to use this big, beautiful camera. Look at his camera. Look at my camera, I just pulled it out of my pocket. This camera belongs to this guy. You got ketchup on your desk, man. Yeah. Ah, damn that fart stinks. I'm picking up my girlfriend from work. What's up? Oh, she's a fucking people every time I see you. Yeah, I don't. Oh, shit. I can't put it on film. I know I do. I have to. To keep people off my tail. In fact, you probably need to go stay at your mom's uh, for maybe like a month. A month? Or a week. Or more than a month. I don't know. I don't know right now. What's the matter with you? Uh, there was this fucking weirdo, like, circling around the parking lot, circling around and circling around. Like, he'd get, like, right here, and mm. then he'd start, he'd just, like, look at me, all fucking weird, like. Yeah. And then he'd circle around, and it was like he was going to leave, but he'd cut back around, and he got right back around. Hey, Moody, man. What's up? I need to buy a gun from you. Is that a camera rifle? No, no, it's not. I always keep one handy. Dude, I got some uh, bad stuff going on right now. I'm not even going to tell you about it because I, I don't want you. Uh, the less I know, the better. The less you know, the better. That's right. Well, don't tell nobody where you got that from. I mean, I'll throw in this extra clip. Okay. Here's my gold.
I just got to this house that this guy I've been following is, keeps going to every day. We're gonna see what the hell he's doing. I got a gun. This girl. this camera. Just round the corner. I want you to when we get over here by the corner. I want you to stay in case he doubles back and I'm going to fall.
spot. I just came around this corner and I have no fucking clue what's that. Okay, what the f fuck? I swear to God. This is the fucking corner I just came around. I swear to God. This is the corner I just came around. Now how the fuck did I end up back across the street? where he's been what happened to him if he's alright I had to walk seven miles last night until somebody picked me up Mac. What? Dude. Dude, knock before you come in. I did knock. I don't know, I've been awake all night. So you... Where did you go last night? We've been following this guy around all day, and now his fucking car is pulled over on the side of the road like he's broken down or something. Uh, I don't know where he is. Oh, shoot! Get us out of here. You absolutely sure? Dude. He just shot at us, and he went, he went, he went right back in there, look, 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 he went right down Where are we looking? What the fuck is that? Down there. Dude, who this is this? Are I you don't freaking know. kidding me? I just saw him come down there. Dude. Oh, hang on. What is that? What, did you have a freaking gun? <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? Uh, okay. Hey. 
to you, whatever. Uh, uh, whatever. I swear if you get me shot, you're freaking dead. Gosh, oh, holy crap, dude. What, what? Oh my god. Fuck. Alright, dude. Hey. What? You're alright, dude. You're okay. Hey. Hey, we're <laughs> listening, man. We're going to the hospital right now, alright? Oh. Fuck. You're okay, dude. Uh, Listen to me, dude. Uh, Put pressure on it. Listen, you cannot tell them. You have to tell them you shot yourself. All right. You cannot tell them what we just did because the dude's a fucking cop. Watch your knee. Excuse me. The dude's a fucking cop. Hey, dude. Dude, wake up. I dropped Sam off. I got him to the hospital. Mac, the sun's about to come up. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Good evening. What are you guys doing here? We're here to help you finish your movie. 